Hey everyone, so it's day two of my trip and I have a game plan for today as well. So I'm going to be at Epcot all day long. I didn't get a park hopper for today because it was $3 cheaper <laughs> than not. I know what a deal and then but I wanted to spend the whole day at Epcot anyways because there's a lot of stuff I want to do there so I made a little game and it's gonna be a random selection of different booths for this uh, flower and garden festival so I'm gonna pull uh, one at a time and then I'm gonna go to that booth and order like something off the menu like just whatever I want and I can get like multiple things or whatever but I have to order at least something off the menu, depending on what I feel like at the time. So I wanted to do the first one before I leave the hotel room because I want to know where I'm going and if I should go to like the International Gateway or the main entrance. Probably the International Gateway, I'm assuming. So I have all these envelopes in here and there's like a lot in here. There's like, I think like 15 or 16 maybe. I just didn't put a few in here that I've already like done, so but there's like plenty enough to keep me busy all day. So I'm mixing them up and I'm gonna get a totally ransom one. And what is it gonna be? I'm scared. So this has a little boat on it and it's got a little American Eagle. This one actually, I have a feeling I might know what this one is. <laughs> Yep, I was right. It's America, the USA. Okay, so I just checked the menu, and the only thing I can get that sounded good, because I'm a pescatarian, so I can't eat, like, all the meat stuff. Like, I eat seafood and dairy and eggs and everything else, like, vegetables and stuff. <laughs> and, but, like, okay. So, they don't really have anything for me to eat except oysters and i am not in the mood for that right now and they have like a beer flight and but they have like a bayou oh and they also have a pecan cake the thing that sounded the best was it's called the bayou cocktail and it's like rum malibu rum fruit punch and orange juice so i guess we're starting off the day with a bang so we'll see but i'm gonna just go get ready and then i'll see you at epcot bye <laughs> I got dropped off at Hollywood Studios because if you want to go into the straight into the International Gateway area, the best thing is to take the Skyliner because it drops you right off, um, right in between France and the UK, and then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to America. So I'm so excited to go visit a country that I'm literally in every single day. I don't even have to park my butt anywhere anymore. It's so amazing! <laughs> okay, so... Hello, and oh. welcome to the Taste of Epcot International <gasps> Flower oh my God, and Garden I just Festival. Spilled my drink on my In just wow, a few so minutes, fancy. the America Gardens Theater will proudly present The Voices of Liberty. <gasps> we invite you to take your seat now. The performance will begin in just a few minutes. Oh my god. Thank you. I just got my bio cocktail and I'm so happy right now. This is perfect. Okay, let's try it. It's got like a big orange on the top, so I'm just gonna try and drink around the orange. <coughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that's rum. That's rum. Okay. <laughs> It's really good though. It's refresh. It's refreshing and fresh, and it's pretty strong. Okay, yay! I'm gonna watch the show, and then I'm gonna pull my next thing and go get another treat. This is awesome. I'm so excited for this group. It's like an acapella group, and they're supposed to be like amazing. This land was made for you and me. Do, 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 do
all crying and shit during that and then they came on with the greatest show song okay during the like um the songs before that which were from the princess and the frog like i was a little teary like for a second but then they did the greatest show and i was like i lost it. like and the tears just started coming down my face like luckily my makeup's not that messed up i was just like 
That was amazing. Okay, that was like the best song they could have done. I love The Greatest Show. It's such a good play or movie or whatever. There definitely needs to be a theater version of that. <sighs> okay, anyways, so this drink was a five out of five. <laughs> Cause like it was a strong fresh rum drink like I would put it on par with the margaritas in Mexico that was really it was really good okay so now I have to pull another <laughs> I have to pull another and luckily I have my little like festival pamphlet so this has all the minis in it and it has the locations of all the topiaries and all the stuff you need to know if you want to like get a free Dole Whip float you can like fill out this passport you, can, you have to get like five vegetarian dishes actually i think it's vegan you have to get five vegan dishes and you get a free dole whip so they're trying to promote vegan food this uh festival which is good all right so where's my thing here i pulled it out oh, okay here we go so that was amazing for a first <laughs> thing like okay like the bar is set high so we'll see what happens after this I mean, I my expectations are not going to be out. I think that was like the pinnacle. I should just go home now, but I don't know. I mean, I want to eat, so I better stay here. Okay, so here's the thingy, and I'm going to open it and see what I get. That was super fun. Okay, so this one has like a sun on it. And it's got a little from me to you. So I wonder what I put in that one. I don't remember. Something like romantic. Oh my God. In my head, I was just saying, please just not the brunch booth. <laughs> I swear to God, like I should have said it out loud. <laughs> Cause I literally was thinking like, I just want anything with the brunch <laughs> Okay, I'm putting this back because the brunch booth is literally on the opposite side of the park for me. So, this is going back in. I'll go to that one later. I guess I have uh, some say in this game. It's not a dictatorship. Okay, so here's another one. So, this is flowers. And it's China. Okay, so I'm happy with this one. So they also have another show here besides that pavilion where they do like stage shows and they do concert series and stuff. Um, they have the animatronic show which I'm gonna come back where I just really need like some food. So since I'm going to China, um, they have like crab and cheese wontons that I'm gonna grab. And then they also have like a coffee tea uh, with boba in it. So oh, I'm really excited for that. So this is probably like the best second booth I could have pulled. <laughs> I love boba and I could use some coffee and then frozen is also right there like the line for frozen starts in China because it's always long because <laughs> Norway is next door so if it's not like super long I'll just go on it now in case it like breaks down again <laughs> like last time all right yay okay so I made it to China and well here's Norway and then right if you go over there is China, so then the line for Frozen like goes that way and like boots around. And then the line for the China boots, I guess since Frozen is here too, like is really long. So I'm gonna pull another one. So I'll put the China one back in there too later. So <laughs> this is like a game of convenience mostly. <laughs> a game of randomness and convenience because you have to pace yourself at the, these theme parks like if you don't you will be miserable so i have to pace myself and not like do stupid stuff like wait in long lines when i could do it later with no line okay so here's the next one this is a moon i'm pretty sure i put germany and morocco in this envelope so it's one of those oh nope i was wrong it's italy okay so italy is really close why did I want me to leave? Oh, I wanted a cannoli, so let's go grab a cannoli and maybe like a prosecco or something. <laughs> that sounds good right now. Okay, see you in a minute. So they have like a lot of little gardens set up for flower and garden festival. This is like a little train track that goes all around up there and down here. And there's like little tunnels that it goes in. Oh, it goes all the way over here too. Oh my god, there's like a lot of trains. 
How come like people aren't into trains anymore? This is so cute. So I got the margarita pizza. It is pretty small. Like, I mean, there's my hand, there's my fingers, and like, you know, it's like the length of my fingers. <laughs> it always looks bigger on film, so it's like, I feel like, yeah, you, they hand it to you and you're like, um, oh, okay. <laughs> and then the cannoli, the cannoli's supposed to be good, the pizza's supposed to be average, and then I spilled a little bit of this while I was walking, but they did not fill it all the way up, like, at all, so. That's a white sangria with Prosecco. So let's try it. So there's like an awesome fountain slash waterfall here, which is amazing. Hopefully like the sound is coming through. Um, and then there's like, these flowers smell so good. They're like, they're like, I don't know, they just smell good. I think that one might be lilac. But yeah, they're like really pretty. So this is a very nice like little spot to eat. Um, okay, so. What do I want to try first? The pizza's kind of hot, so I'm going to save that for a minute. So, let's try the thick. That's good. Um, yeah, I definitely taste the, like, I'll, I mean, I taste the wine or whatever, so. Okay, so I'll rate that in a minute, but here's the cannoli. So, this is, like, coated in chocolate, and it has, like, I guess it's got, like, ricotta. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. That's not what I was expecting. I don't know why. I was thinking cannoli was like, like a ricotta cheese, like a, like a cottage, cottagey cheese. Which I guess it is, but it's sweetened. And it's crunchy, like a biscotti or not, yeah, like a, like a biscotti, I guess. No, like a, like an Italian cracker. That's not too sweet. And then I have chocolate on it, so okay. I mean, it kind of reminds me of a biscotti. It definitely reminds me of a biscotti. Um, but like, with the, the cream inside just tastes like whipped cream, honestly. I don't think it is. I think it is actually like what it's supposed to be. I'm, I have, honestly, I don't think I've ever really had a cannoli before. Or if I have, I didn't remember it accurately. You know, there's chocolate on my finger. So I finished that. So I guess it was pretty good if I finished it. I think it was it was good. I'll give that a four. Like I'm not gonna run back to it, but like I just don't have a super super sweet 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 tooth. And if I do have a sweet tooth, it's usually for either like alcoholic drinks or juice or like some kind of fruity dessert. Or like cheesecake <laughs> but that was pretty good so i'm back at four okay so this drink let me see what this drink is again i mean that's pretty good too like it's cold i think it's got like pineapple juice or something in it i mean it's sangria but there's no like chunks it just has like pineapple juice and wine which i like to make at home i like to just mix my juices Oh my god, there's a bee. There's a freaking bee right there. That's amazing. I hope it doesn't sting me. Holy crap. Ah! Just leave it alone. Okay. It's just like, it's just checking out the flowers. That was funny. Okay. So now let's try the pizza. I guess the drink gets like a three. I don't know. It's just like, it's nothing special. Oh my god, it's back. Look at the little bee. It's flying around. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, so let's try this pizza. People did not like this pizza, so let's see. Oh, it's like not even, I can't even like pick it up. <laughs> it's like mushy. Oh shit, it's really hot. Okay. Oh my God. Ah. Okay, I'm like trying to taste everything and like make a judgment about it. It's good. Definitely, that's my first instinct. Like, it is good. It's chewy. 
it's like not crunchy like it's soggy pizza definitely but like that is the style of pizza like to not have like the crispy crunch like it's definitely like a thin crust and like it's kind of supposed to just be like foldable where you just kind of fold it and eat it I like it. It's good, actually. Hold on. Yeah, I like the cheese and the sauce, and it's a little greasy. It kind of tastes like New York style pizza or something. I really, I really like it. It's got a little crisp on the cheese. I mean, I'm really hungry right now. Where's the bee? Is the bee is still here. I mean, it's not doing anything to me, so I'm just trying to like make sure it doesn't. Like, it's like very distracted with the flowers. Oh my god. That's like a really busy bee right now. It's like he's at work. Okay, so yeah, I really like this actually. Like, I would recommend getting this pizza. Like, I don't know why people are knocking it. I mean, I think it is really good actually. It's a little charred on the crust. I like. Um, I'm just gonna give this a five because this hits the fucking spot on the fucking head, nail on the head. So, I think it's good. I mean, it was overpriced. I think that's maybe why people complain. But what do you expect? So, this is a five. Pizza gets a five. It only gets a four. Drink gets a... What did I give a drink? A three. So, okay. I'm gonna finish my pizza. I'm almost, almost done with it. And then I'll pull another one. Bye!